Hello then, folks. Welcome back to part two of Erling Haaland trapped in a bath. Bath City, to be exact. Uh, right, let's catch up with where we left the story in episode one. If you've not seen that, I'll leave a link in the description to part one. You can find out how things began. Lots of you enjoyed that first one. So here is part two. And then later on this week, we'll do, uh, we'll do part three as well. So then we rejoin the story. And we're in the League Two now. Their first season in League Two, after a couple of promotions, they've just had... I would say a successful season as, as, a, as a newly side, a newly promoted side, I should say, uh, into League 2. You can see them there in 10th position, but 10th position for the likes of Erling Haaland, who is now, this is like the, the prime years of Erling Haaland. How will he get on in the next five seasons? Well, let's find out. You can see there, then there's his history. Hopefully you've seen that on caught up last video. And uh, let's move forward a year then. And how are they doing their second season, Bath, with Erling Haaland at the helm uh, in League 2? So here we are, 2026. One more year has gone by. And I can see it there. They are League Two champions. Haaland, in their second season in League Two, has managed to help catapult Bath to the next level. We'll go back to his goal scoring record in a moment, but you can see 32 goals that season, 89 points. And just, just to check again, because we've mentioned it a few times, that injuries are not a thing for Haaland. He does not get injured, it feels like. And that, that is going to be key to his success in real life. If he can stay injury free, probably not a Bath, it's probably worth putting out, but he could be some player this guy which is why we're doing the experiment with him here uh, at bath so you can see that or bath some people say the comment section in the last video were like well you're saying it wrong every time fair enough captain and uh key player harlan and let's go back to it let's just check it out there are 32 goals in 43 appearances and again now up into league two a 7.54 slightly better actually on last season and i wonder especially when they get promoted right as a newly promoted side they're not going to have as good a squad if we take a look at their team are there any players that you're familiar with if you're a lower league fan i'm sure there are names here that are popping out of you and you're thinking yeah i do recognize them uh in this side i mean the 41 goals there is very impressive jake burton the other striker what a, what a joy he's having he's just come in as a yeah he was bought for eight eight and a half uh, thousand pounds or so and uh, yeah playing second fiddle to, to Haaland although they could be playing up front together I think they probably are doing I've seen their system a few times they're playing this system here uh, they've dropped him for a few games but yeah champions of league two and um just one more thing to, to note on Haaland as well 40 caps for Norway 10 goals um, he's still considered the second best Norwegian player behind Martin Odegaard that, that's how he's sort of ranked I don't know if Norway have done anything spectacular at any stage they've qualified for a world cup so of course we'll check in on that in the future european championships second round exit to croatia in 2024 in 2022 uh again nothing to speak of there really i guess it was 21 actually wasn't it the, the if, any competitions they would have been in again not too much to speak of um so yeah we'll, we'll keep a little eye on norway as we go through but let's go another year they've been promoted how will they do in league one so he is just propelling them forward i'm loving this all right 2027 and, well, they've not won League One. That's all I know so far. Uh, so let's take a look. We'll go into his history once again and see there. 25 goals in 44. His, his worst season, I guess you would say, so far. And a 7.26. The interesting thing with Haaland, right? And we've got to note this. At 26 now, again, coming into his prime, in theory, you can see he's played eight more times for Norway, four more goals. So he's still scoring for them. But these attributes at some point will begin to decline. And my fear for him actually is that they will decline earlier than you would have expected them to. So, of course, we're going to go until 2035 when he finally joins uh, Bern. I, I see that's how it said. And he goes back to them in Norway where he very first started his career. 25 and 44. Again, first season, they never seem to quite do the business. You can see 25 goals. But as a newly promoted side, you're coming up against sides that have come down from the championship. They're still finishing ninth. They're not actually that far off the playoffs. And I assume with a player like him that they know they can't sell, like financially, they're not able to bring in like these mega star players to go alongside him. Of course, they're not going to be able to. They're Bath. But when you think about where they've come from in the Vanarama National South, they're now in League One over the course of, what, seven seasons? And just from having this one like mega star, I do find that, it's, this is why experiments are quite good at Football Manager. This could never happen. Like, there would never be a circumstance where a player would stay for this amount of time, right? It'd have been pinched. That's why you've got to lock him in there. You can't let him leave. So, how far can this go? Will, by the end of, basically, what we're trying to find out, viewers, is by the end of the experiment, can Haaland drag Bath 
to the Premier League. That's what I'm going to find out. So what will have to have happened is another promotion. So let's go and check that out. I just want to see if, but again, we, we checked it before. Let's go have another look. If they're doing anything in cup competitions, first round exit to York. Uh, and let's see what they did the previous year because we didn't check it. We just have another look. Again, first round exit to Stevenage. So no cup progression so far. Although a Papa John's Trophy final win on penalties last season that we didn't quite pick up on. And this season, did they, did they go back to back? Quarter final exit to Salford. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Harlan then, still doing the business. And uh, let's go forward. Another year, 2028. Here I come. Honestly, this time traveling luck, I'm really, really beginning to get the hang of. Uh, we're back then, 2028. Let's go into, go into his history. That's what we like to do. And uh, again, the theme seems to be the same every single time his first season you can see it there like 7.65 the next season was slightly better again upon promotion 7.48 next season was slightly better as they get better players in and around him again the same has happened 7.26 7.38 so it does take that one season for them to stabilize where they are and then go again four more goals for Haaland this time around again just to check the injuries bruised knee again not not out for any extended period of time the man's a machine viewers right go to Bath City then how did they get on um Wow, have they had a really... Wow, that so that's interesting. They've had a much worse season, but he's still he's still performing the best in the league, which is, which is not that surprising. One thing I want to check, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this out. I kind of want to know. I don't know if you can see, like, awards um, or records for, for players that are, like, the best player in Norway. I want to see if he's winning those types of awards. I don't think you can, which is really, really frustrating. I was hoping I'd be able to. The all-time top goal scorer, Soloth, on 35... In real, like if, if Harlem's at Dortmund or, or a team of that nature, you'd suspect he would be a superstar. But the way things are, that's just not happening. Like you can see all like the big name sides and then Bartha there with Harland, who's still valued at 33 million. His value has not changed at all throughout this, which are equally I find really interesting. Bath City icon Erling Harland, who now, by the way, and this is important to note, he loves them. He's a, he's now a supporter or, or a player, a favorite club, I guess is the way you look at it. Um, yeah, like I do kind of love that on every level. He's, he's got obviously English nationality already by being born in Leeds. Now, this has happened before, the Van Rama National. First season, they stabilised. Second season, they've not really progressed actually. Like, like Haaland is arguably there, kept them in the league. That's the impact that he's having. It's not been a particularly fun season. You can see the middle period of the year, really, really poor. So it's going to be a case of... Is there going to be enough investment in this team? Like, you look at the rest of the team, there's not a lot of value here. They're relying on loans. And the loans are obviously having a big say on if they're getting promoted or not. So, let's go forward. 2029, will will it happen this time around? Now, I've got I've come to the point of expecting it, Erling. So, this, this should be the year. You can see again, identical average rating over the period of time. Not as many games. So, are we finally... He's getting a bit older... He's had a few injuries here and there. Pulled thigh, bruised shin, the flu as well. Um, and you can see from his history, 29, sorry, 24 goals at 38 appearances. So record-wise, it's still pretty good. He's playing six less games and scoring five less goals. So it's not too bad. Player of the matches, assists still on the up and up. Um, it'll be interesting to see if that changes, actually, because as, as players get older, obviously, he might not be the man that's going to be... That's because they're not relied upon to score the goals. I suspect he probably will be. But you see, my, my point is, he's probably getting more experienced. The link-up play might become a bigger part of his game. It might have to be a bigger part of his game. Let's see what Bath actually did, though. What did they achieve? Bath, what did they actually achieve? As uh, we're going into this here, they are ninth in League One. So, no playoffs. Of course, no promotion, but blimey, it was very, very close. Shrewsbury on 70 points, Cambridge, QPR, and uh, Bath, Bath are in there as well. Harland again, absolutely roasting it in terms of the average rating and things like this. What is, I want to see what his like, overall Bath record is, actually. So if we just go to their best 11 and then see it there, it's 309 goals in 427 uh, games. We've still got six more years of this. So I would love to see if he gets to 500. No, he won't get to 500 really, but 450. I mean, maybe, just maybe, a 7.54, it's um, kind of ridiculous, right? So he still hasn't got promoted, he still hasn't done it. I guess this is going to have to be the moment then. Will he do it this year? Because this is this is a first for Hard. If you just go back to him here, you can see three years, they've never spent that long. So this will be their fourth year in League One, at the point in which, again, he's probably peaking, he's probably in this prime. I've noticed his finishing has gone from 18 to 17, and at 28 for Haaland... The, is the decline happening now? Like So playing with a, a lesser standard of player than he would be expected to is, is now beginning maybe to have an adverse effect. But he's still phenomenal. Don't worry, he's in League One. If you had a player like this in League One, 
he'd probably be expecting more than 24 goals. I think if you would, if you, if I was managing them, I'd like to think he'd probably score more because of the way the game works. But still, crazy. 2030. This is he's got to get promoted now, otherwise it's getting desperate for for Bath City. All right, our final season of this uh, this video particularly. 32 minutes still worth something. Still got 17 finishing. Right, let's go into it then. How has he done? A renaissance of sorts. Uh, 38 games again, identical. 24 goals, 38 games, same amount of assists, a higher average rating. So performance-wise, was slightly better, which I think stands Bath in good stead. If he's playing better, it suggests they're probably winning more games, would be my assumption. So let's take a look. Uh, please have done something. Norway, by the way, 26 in, 30, uh, in 75. His Norwegian career is not really taking off. I suspect they've probably played another international tournament in here somewhere. Um, Semi-final of the European Championship. Wow. Defeat to Italy in that. Was he scoring any of the goals? Soloff. Haaland got a goal in the quarterfinals. Uh, second round goal for him as well. So he definitely featured. Definitely took part. Um, but yeah, semi-finals for them. So that's that's still pretty good. Norway have got a really good like crop of players coming through, it feels like. Especially the likes of um, Aya and, of course, Odegaard. Like, they've got some players there that are really going to be superstars, you would think. Um, and Haaland will be at the core of that. Of course he will be. It'll be the start of that show, you should, you'd expect. Um, right, anyway, to Bath. What did they do this year? Again, slightly better. Oh, my word, third. Now, that doesn't mean promotion, though, does it? Oh, no. They've lost in the playoff semi-final, haven't they? To AFC Wimbledon. Haaland, top goal scorer, highest average rating. But they've come unstuck at the very end. And they've beat, They've lost to a team that finished 13 points behind them. Oh, my word. Okay, back in some big games, though. How did Haaland do? Heartbreak. The, ch the chance of them getting to the Premier League now. Not impossible, but it's shrinking a little bit. And again, that's the game, isn't it? You look at it there. Um, did he play? Interestingly, I don't think... Wait, did he have an injury right towards the back end? <gasps> okay, he played in that second leg, but he didn't play. I don't think in this game. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just going to double check to make sure I'm absolutely correct on this. He didn't feature. So I suspect he may have been suspended or injured. And then he came back for the, the, the second leg. They, they probably forced him back. 7.4. Didn't get a goal. But um, you look at the XG, very, very even. But it was too little, too late. They got the 3-1 victory AFC Wimbledon. And he's not done it. But you look at the run they had to get there. They definitely deserve to be promoted, it feels like. They're five points off fourth. And they've not done it. And the playoff final will be contested between Wimbledon and Cardiff. And Haaland goes back into League One for five more seasons. So now, viewers, they've got five years, Bath City, to climb into the Premier League before he goes back to Norway where it all began, and I feel like time is definitely de definitely not on his side at this stage, because Bath are going to have to improve their team quite a lot. You can see, though, for the five uh, the five, five previous seasons, though, it's pretty phenomenal in terms of goal scoring, like, but that's not something that's surprising us. What I really wanted to see from this is if he would be able to, again, in these prime years, that's where I thought it would really start to come from, but it feels like his prime years were wasted in those early seasons, potentially. Either, either way, there we are. Then 29 years of age. Of course, we'll get to the point where he's 34. So um, it's not too far away. Of course, and then 35 in the summer, it'll turn. So we will end at 35, really. But there we are. Uh, we'll, of course, do one more episode on this. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this one and you've seen part one. And we will conclude this with a final episode of Erling Haaland locked in at Bath City very, very soon. If you've enjoyed the video, please do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you again very, very soon uh, for some other different experiments. And if you've got ideas for some, get in the comments section and we'll try some of the best ones out. So uh, we'll love with care. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Take care. Lo lo love you all. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Um, penalty? Just no, no. Mark a pen.